Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, welcome to another episode of Transport Feeder, where we're starting our build-up to uh, awesomeness, to independence, to money-makingness. Um, no, wrong button. I don't need that, but we need this. There we go. But our, uh, we're on the road to making a amazing company. A company that will be making oodles of money. Oodles and oodles of money. Right now, uh, a couple tips that I want to show out there to people that are asking. Um, but this game, very fun, very fun tycoon style game. Um, I love this game a lot. Um, just for simple facts, of, it's fun. It's very cathartic. Um, basically, it's very fun just to kind of sit back and relax with, actually. Um, if you like those games where you get to sit back and look at stuff and evaluate and, um, you know, think about plans, months, you know, or at least in, you know, think about things ahead of time. Um, think about what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, how you're going to play certain ways or do certain things. Um, this is the game. This is the game you're going to want to play. Um, I think this definitely is one of those games that you just sit back and relax and play and have fun with. Um, it's also one of those games where it's it's not easy. Um, even on easy, it's hard to make money. You can see our train here, for example. It's really not making that much money. Um, it's got uh, 21 passengers of 81 right now running, uh, which isn't making us enough money. Over time, hopefully, it'll start paying for itself. We'll have to see. But right now, we're $131,000 in debt or down when it comes to that train. Um, if anything, the train's going to it's what's going to make us the most money, I'm hoping. We'll have to see. We're also $11,000 down on line three, which isn't that great. Uh, line two is doing okay. Mm. Excuse me. It's making us money. Um, so far, so good. But it's definitely the train that in the end is going to make or break us. Um, if we can turn a profit on the train, then we'll be making ridiculous amounts of money. Um, if we cannot cut a profit with the train, so we're going to be seriously, seriously in trouble. I want to probably borrow some money to keep ourselves afloat and extend the train line, maybe. Um, or even contemplate what we're going to do without the train. You can see here that the road's being built out towards the other town here. So we got to be careful of that. But yeah, look at that. 41,000 for 38 people. Uh, we're roughly sitting at almost, almost half capacity. So it's paying for itself now. It's pretty much staying even. If we can get that capacity up to the full 81, we're probably going to be running, uh, say, over 100,000 every trip, back and forth, I'm hoping. So we'll have to see. I'm just looking at line three here real quick. And each one of those are a couple thousand in the hole right now. I think line three, if I'm not mistaken. Line three is in the other town. So line three is over here. So right now. Hmm. I'm wondering if people are not going to this stop. Oh no, it's actually loading and unloading a lot of people. So is that one. This one's more about loading people than unloading. This one's definitely more about unloading or loading than unloading. Hmm. I mean, we definitely want to see that gradual increase every year. But right now... Ridership in this town has definitely got us into a bit of a pickle. So 
Because one thing I really like about this game, right? You have to sit back, you know, you evaluate, look at things, and try to figure out, you know, stuff to do money-wise. What's going to make you the best money? What do you have to do to, you know, make money type thing? Where are you losing money? In this case right now, it's this line right here. Lost this $9,000. Basically, if you take line two and line three together, we're plus $2,000. And that's it. Uh, with the rail line, not too good. Especially since we have to pay off uh, $2.9 million in debt. Comes the train again. It's running at uh, 33 people this time. Looks like it's going to pick up 27. Oh, yeah. Now, I could tell it to wait till it's full, but it's really not a good idea. I could put in another vehicle into line, into line 3 to try and make us some money, but I don't think that's a good idea either. It was saying over here temporarily that we were in the green. But we're already $28,000 on the hole. Uh, the train is almost even. A couple more uh, trips back and forth and it should be good to go money-wise. But line 3 is definitely having some issues. Uh, we currently have two vehicles that are not making us money. None of the vehicles actually have made us any money in line 3, which is pretty sad. So, I mean, pretty much every vehicle on line one is offsetting line three, basically. Or line two is offsetting line line three. And it looks like the only thing that people aren't waiting on is this, is this address, or this, uh, this one here. I mean, it is going up, which is good. We are dropping people off there, which is not a bad sign. Basically, what we're seeing is we're dropping people off there. But as you see, there's a lot of people walking down the street still. Question is, where are they walking from? Yeah, I'm wondering if we need another stop right in here somewhere. Connect this road here, move this one down, move this one across the streets, and then put one right there. It's possibly an idea I'm going to go with. I'm going to connect those up for now. I want to see if any houses build up on those. Oh, interesting. I'll have to remember that. Definitely a lot of people get there, but a lot of people just walk right past it. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause this real quick and we're going to reevaluate some of this stuff here. You're going there. You're going to get bulldozed. One right there. And then we're going to put that one right. Right there. It's going to go that one, that one, that one, and then that 
one. And once these roads connect, we'll make it kind of go like that. It's uh, an idea. We'll have to see. Right now, most of the passengers are here. Later on, our main, like I said, our main way of making money is going to get the train, which is officially making us money now. It's actually made us $32,000 already. And I'm actually wrong. Uh, we have $3 million in loans because we haven't paid anything back yet. It's one of the things about this game. you got to pay your loans before you can even do anything. So trains made us money, and line three is getting close now to making us money. Looks like vehicles five and six are going to be the first ones to turn a profit, possibly. Once they turn a profit, then we're laughing. That means all three of our lines are profitable. Once all three of our lines are profitable, then it's just a matter of time. Then we pay down our loans, we sit back for a little bit, um, and slowly expand. Take out loans here and there just to kind of grow and cover any possible losses. It looks like vehicle six, which I think is this one right here, yep, is about to make us a profit. And once one makes it into the green, then we know the rest of them are going to make it into the green. It's just a matter of time. Almost a green. I believe we just went into our yearly. Nope. So we've made four. I think, well, technically it's four million. Or four, yeah, four, sorry, it's K. I it thought it was an M there for a second. So we made about 4,000. Which in, I mean, 1852's money, I think is pretty good. The train is definitely starting making money. It's made as 137,000. I know this is probably a little boring, but it's one of the fun things about this game is it's slow. It looks like the demand is slowly starting up now for line three. I'm actually just going to slide this over. Because I, I was right, we started at year three. And we've made $19,000 already. And look how fast we're in the hole. Look at that. One of them's already making money. Now I can cheat the system a little bit by sending the other three into the uh, shop, selling them, and then just buying three more to kind of manipulate the system so that we're green across the board, but there's no point. Because this will still be green, or red. So that this line is still $4,000 in the hole. At least we now know this one is profitable. Just a matter of time at this point. Okay. I think the train's on its way back. It is. So we're getting just enough demand for this here to slowly, and I mean slowly, negate this debt. We're at 3.3. So now is an idea of where is our next um, growth going to be? Where are we going to expand to? I'm thinking I really don't want to go over another river for the moment. Um, 
if I go population, Dis and Stone are the two highest. The next one is Colville, which is, wow, way over there. Okay, Colville, let's go Cogshell. Nope, you're too far. Christchurch is uh, too far down the river. Uh, Edelberg. Not oh, you're too far away as well. Uh, so we're gonna go look here. Uh, Ramsgate is down here. Leak is further down. Burton and Letmere further down. Huh. I think I might go towards Ramsgate. What I can easily do is extend the line to go this way. Just kind of have a curve and come here. Maybe even connect here and then curve back. It's going to be expensive. By no means is it going to be an easy, easy thing to do. Uh, we're only 300, 300 bucks now short when it comes to line three. So now it comes into the idea, how are we going to design our Ramsgate stuff? Because we're now in the green for everything. So now for Ramsgate, I probably want to put it right here-ish. Problem is that I have to put the stop, the 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 um, our cart stop on this side of the road, like around here somewhere. So I have a little bit of an issue there. We're gonna have the cars come in this way. Can I come over here? Go to there. Hmm. So that's the problem. See the town with the way it's growing, it's pretty much an X right now. It's not the best shape to go. Well, stone here is almost a swastika actually. Uh, same with uh, Fairford. The Fairford and Ramsgate are actually growing in almost the exact same way. I guess it's a cross within a box. Maltby, same thing. Looks like all the towns are actually growing Almost the exact same way. Kind of humorous, actually. Huh. Well, Christchurch is not. It's kind of cattywampus, which is good. Um. But it looks like Ramsgate's definitely going to be our next move. The question is going to be... So, that's going to be the end of this episode. In the next one, possibly some loans um, and the setting up of another line going down this way. Um, that will open up a farm down here for us. Though we don't have any... We have three farms. We have one there, one there, and one there. Right now... We don't have the money. What I would probably do is run a road from this one to this one. Um, run the road across. Have both of them truck into a centralized location. And then ship uh, the grain and the meat, cattle, uh, to this location here, I guess. Which would give us food. And then trucks would truck in the stuff for food and then ship out to a separate spot the um, stuff for uh, well the actual food which would then be tra uh, trained back on a second line that would come across this way and then skim up and then come into Ramsgate and then also kind of go along these ones these you have to your freight stations and your actual main train stations separate so Kind of one of the things I don't I, I don't like, but I like is your freight and your passenger stuff are pretty much separate. Um, later on, we'll also get into airplanes and things like that. Um, 
which I forgot to mention is in this game, airports, which we don't have the ability to do right now, uh, which pretty much you get little little airplay, little airports flying to certain areas. Uh, you make a hub and have two major airports, basically one or another end of the map, and people just fly back and forth. Um, trying to make money with aircraft, very very hard, very hard. But as you can see here, it's a matter of time in most cases to make money. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So we're almost um, in the green. That's going to be the end of this episode. And the next one, uh, officially, will be in the green for everything. And then it's just a matter of time paying some loans down and uh, send up some more lines to uh, expand and uh, get bigger and better. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.